all the fans are. And uh... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to ABC Review. I'm here still in Birmingham at the Magic City Classic. I'm happy to have by my side the director of bands of Alabama State University, Dr. James Oliver. Dr. Oliver, thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations on the great show today that you all put on. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. We, uh, we all know that Michael Jackson was a big success in R&B and the king of pop. What, what made it stand out for you all to do something, a tribute to him today? Well, Michael Jackson is doing my era. You know, my time. I love him. Will always love him. And to just do a tribute to him, because he is the greatest, and uh, I don't see anything, anybody else besides uh, Muhammad Ali. Right, so Michael right. Jackson is the greatest doing my era, and we're going to play his stuff as long as I'm there. Well, good. Well, good. I'm, and you're right. He is the greatest of all time. Now, speaking of some of the greatest things that we've seen, you know, I've been watching Album State for years. My dad went to Album State. And there were some things that I want to know that as far as you all have a saying that says, what's on the back of that T-shirt that you all have? The price of glow is high. Explain that a little bit to everybody. Well, the price of glory is high. We work hard doing pre-drill. And to, play, to pay that price is blood, sweat, and tears. It's getting up early in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, practicing all day till late in the evening, and doing all the calisthenics, whatever it takes to make your marching horn. So that work and that is the price. And the glory is this. This is the glory part of it. Well, it's a privilege for us to do what we do, so we enjoy this part. So to us, this is the glory. When we can get in the stand and play, play some good music, man, it makes you feel good. Well, okay, you definitely did a good thing. Now, I understand that you are a former member of the March on Horn. Is that correct? Yes, yes. I was a freshman at uh, Alabama State in 1975, and uh, it's been a blessing for me to come back in 2000 and be the band director. It was not in my plans, but, you know, God makes those plans for you. So I'm here, and I'm enjoying myself, and until I retire, I'm going to have a good time. Well, good. One more question before I let you go. Now, this is the Magic City Classic. How does it feel to be a former musician playing in the band and now being the band director against still one of your, your old foes? Well, you know what? You have to separate that a little bit because now that you're on the other side, you look at things different. You look at it from a more of an administration part and a leadership part. So with me having the opportunity to lead all these young men and young ladies, that's, that's the difference. You know, when I was there, Dr. Lyles was my idol and then Mr. Van Tone Free. So now that I've had the opportunity to uh, do some things, I'm here and I'm going to do my best to be able to lead these guys and hopefully, you know, in their career, there'll be greater, greater people in this world and be able to contribute. Oh, did you hear McDonald's has cappuccinos now? McDonald's? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. I can shave this thing off my face. Yes. We don't have to call movies films anymore. We can talk about football. I like football. I like sitting and watching football. I don't need these glasses. These are fake. I do need mine. They're very real. Also try McCafe Mocha's rich dark chocolate with freshly ground espresso beans and real steamed milk. It's all the coffee. Hold the attitude. Now at McDonald's. I almost bought a beret the other day. Don't. Back on Alabama's Black College Review, and the thing that you've been waiting for the most, the results of the football game. Let's take a look at the highlights from the Magic City Classic 2009. in deep backfield, looking long, across the middle, has a man wide open, at the 125-20, touchdown Bulldogs, just like that.
Naturally, we're not happy with you know being defeated. Um, felt like we prepared um, real good this week. Thought we practiced well and uh, was looking for a little bit more energy, but it was unfortunate. It didn't happen, you know. Um, a lot of missed opportunities, and you know they jumped on us early with a quick touchdown, and uh, you know, it just didn't happen for they us. They made an adjustment to what we were doing. Um, we moved the ball well. We had a couple of penalties. You know, we had two penalties to stop the drive. We had a block field goal. So you know, you take those things away. Uh, we still grinding, but we're getting points. You know, when you when you come in and you run one play and you go 57 yards, and you know before you get your popcorn, you know you got points. Everything else is going to seem like a grind. So that does it for another exciting year of the Magic City Classic. We've had a great time bringing you all the pomp and circumstances and all of the energy surrounding this carnival slash fashion show with a football game thrown in the middle. I've been your host, D. Jackson, and for all of us here, we will see you at the game. Take care.